What's going on guys? So today we're looking at the Adventure Medical Kits 1.0 First Aid Kit. Uh, this is the one that's you know, find at Walmart. They're typically around 10, 11 bucks. Very cheap, very compact, basically the size of one hand. And it's gonna be good for a lightweight, very small compact kit that's for fairly light duty use. It's not going to be a range bag level trauma kit, not gonna be an IFAC. It's going to be more cuts, scrapes, bumps and bruises type of kit. Now, the reason that I think this one's going to be pretty popular is because it is so cheap and readily available. Again, it is at Walmart for like 10, 11 bucks, and I think that's actually where I got this one as well. So I want to just go through this, show you what's in it, and see if it's actually good enough for what you want it for, and give some ideas of what you can really use it for. So starting on the right-hand side here, pretty much have a pretty large pile of stuff in here. Not a whole lot of organization like you see in some of the larger ones. So first off, and this is one of the big things that I really like about this for woods use, is it does come with a decent pair of fairly sharp tweezers in a vial here. That's going to be great if you do get a splinter or if you do uh, end up getting a tick on you. That's going to be a great way to pull that out. Next up, we do have some medical tape. It's a fairly small roll, fairly thin, but it will work in a pinch. A little bit of moleskin, fairly small, but again, it's enough to get you by for the afternoon. Bleeding and CPR instructions, um, most people are never going to read those, and frankly, if you're waiting until you need it to read it, you've probably waited too long. Um, do have some of the butterfly closures, large band-aids, smaller band-aids, again, a few different types. You can see here, I don't know what that's actually called for the shape of that one, but just another style of band-aid. More of the standard ones, basically just a full little selection there. Do have a little bit of uh, different sizes of gauze. You have a couple of the two by twos, a couple of the three by threes, and then more of the instructions. And then in the back here, you do have a pretty interesting mix of aspirin, ibuprofen, afterbite stuff, as well as various other medications and things like that. And it's a pretty decent little set for an afternoon out in the woods. It's not going to be anything overly comprehensive, but if you do have a headache, you do have a small cut, scrape, bruise, it's going to be a lot that's going to help make the day a little better for you. It's not one of those kits that once you take it all out, you can never get it to fit back in. Moving over on to the left-hand side. On this one, we have a lot of options for uh, antiseptic towels, a lot of uh, things like that for basically and alcohol swabs, things like that. You have nine of them here, so you have plenty to go a long way. Next up, we do have a two by two inch by five yard elastic bandage with the uh, keepers. Very similar to what you'd find with a ace bandage, but a little bit lower quality, more of a one and done type usage. And then the last two items are more of a survival focus, which is very typical to find with AMK. You do have survival cards, medications cards, and then you have a little button compass as well as a howler whistle. Now these are fairly loud. I'm not going to blow it because frankly a lot of people listening to this are probably wearing headphones and I'm not that much of a dick. Um, but the compass itself, it's a pretty typical button compass. It is roughly pointing the right direction, um, but it's fairly slow to respond. So take these with a grain of salt. You do kind of have to work it around a bit to get it to actually move into the right direction. Now, as I say that, it's not at all in focus, but north is roughly that direction, so it is accurate at the moment. But you'll notice, if it stays in focus here, you really need to move it a lot to get it to go in the right direction. And even with that, it's still pointing west right now. So... I don't really trust these if I don't have to. Um, you're better off having a real compass. But shake it up, move it around, it starts to go into the right direction. But that really does show that these are not great to be reliable compasses. But that's all we have in here. Uh, it is going to be a fairly minimalist kit. It's rated for once two people. It's good in terms of the quantity of what it has and what it can actually do for minor cuts, scrapes, bumps, and bruises. I mean, that's really about all it's good for. So if you are looking for something that's going to be more advanced care for things like traumatic bleeding, um, broken bones, things like that, this is not the kit for you. 
you really need to step it up to something much more comprehensive. Um, now you could go the option of adding to this kit. There is some room available left over at the end. You could actually fit something like a SWAT T tourniquet. Uh, you wouldn't be able to fit a CAT T or a uh, soft T. Those are going to be a little too bulky to fit inside here, but I believe you would be able to close it with a SWAT T. Um, a lot of people don't like that tourniquet. Uh, it is better than nothing, so it's something to consider as a great upgrade for this if you wanted something for traumatic bleeding. The same thing would apply if you wanted to add a packet of quick clot or something like that. So. Let me know, is this something that would be useful to you guys, or is it too basic, too overkill, or do you really think that something that can only do cuts and bruises is just unnecessary for your use? So, let me know in the comment section below, what do you guys think? And as always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.